thought this might be a nice morning to come out and do a little video. Uh, so far here's all my marigold transplants from behind the garage. Some of them are starting to bloom. I like to kind of wait to at least get one bloom so I can figure out color-wise how I'm going to plant them. Um, got an extra tomato plant. It's a great tomato. We only need one. This is a tree we found in the yard a couple years ago. Just been nursing it and need to plant that out in the yard somewhere. Some zinnas I started. Uh, one of my great plants I need to plant. And those funky things I just got from my neighbor. And uh, I picked some more strawberries today. These are all the evening primrose. My mom gave me a few starts. They were my grandma's. And they're just pretty much taking over this bed. I have a feeling next year they'll go all the way down to the Elysium. And uh, those are also from my grandma's house. A little ham's ear. And, uh, so I still have to do some more weeding back here, but I've got it down pretty well. Still have a few more marigolds I need to transplant down toward the end. I ran out of potting soil, so I gotta get some more. And, uh, there's a few little guys in here. And then once I, once I get all those up, then I'll get all the weeds out and cultivate it good. Add some more stuff, good stuff to it, and, uh, and then replant all the marigolds. I think we might put some uh, sunflowers in the back as well. I think that'll be fun. Because you can never have too many sunflowers. So this is the new shade garden we put in. Well, shade and sunny garden. So this is obviously the shade part. These are all the pastas my mom gave me when they divided theirs. They had waterproofing done on their basement, so they had to dig up all their hostas. So while they were all dug up, she went ahead and divided them. We had ordered that dirt from the nursery that we put down, and it's giving us tons of weeds, even with the mulch on it. So I gotta go th go in here soon, and I've already pulled some of them, but man, they're crazy. So we got. Got the lilies starting to bloom. That just happened, I think, yesterday they opened. And, uh, everything seems to, to be doing well back in here. And, uh, then we got... We have tiny little trees that anytime we get maple trees coming up in the yard or in the garden, Mo wants to transplant them. So, this one got chomped by like a deer or rabbit or something over the winter, but it's finally starting to finally get some more little leaves, so it's still still making it. I have to put a stick there so I don't mow over it by accident. And we have another one there that's doing much better. And uh, then we have the flagpole garden where we have roses and some perennials. So I've been, been trying to spray them with some copper fungicide. I'm still, I don't know, I don't know enough about roses, but the yellowing, I was thinking it was black rot or black spot, but I don't know. Um, I keep trying to, I need to come out and cut some more of that out, but it does have a bloom starting on there, so at least we're getting something. And then, uh, I think this one's going to be a white one. We're getting some blooms on that. And that's that new knockout rose that we just uh, posted pictures of the other day. Let me see what the variety name is. It's called the Sunny Knockout Rose. And then this is supposed to be a, a very cold tolerant one. Um, the Sub-Zero Rose, I think that one's supposed to be like yellow, yellow or white as well. This one's doing great. 
And uh, got a lot of the Arizona Gallardia, Arizona Sun Gallardia. And there's also some white cone flowers in here. Um, a phlox. Another rose. And then uh, all around it I plant usually marigolds or maybe some zinnas or and uh, hopefully with this drip line. Oh, wonderful. I see the barn cats have have come out here. Oh, great. So, and this is the, the pasture. There's the goats. They're just vegging. In front of the pasture, that, starting at that big tree there, that's an apple tree, and then we have a whole bunch of little apple trees and a couple peach trees that we just started in the last few years. And this is the, the new secret garden that Mo put in. So you guys can see a little bit more close up what she's got in here. Got some grasses and some evergreens just to so we'll have some color in that in the or something in the fall or in the winter. Got some zinnas, some ivory zinnas, and that was our Christmas tree last year. Got some pin cushions. And then Delphinium. I like the color of that one. And little baby evergreens. Not, really, not to get much bigger than that. Some sedum. There's another little sedum. And then, of course, all the daisies. And, uh, as you can hear, we have a lot of birds. So this is our side of the house. With all the daisies and the grasses. The grass is really starting to pop up recently. I like these with the, I think it's like Japanese blood grass or something like that. And, uh, these are margarita daisies. They're like a bush. I love them because they don't go crazy. They don't spread like the regular Shasta daisy. They just stay nice. It really sets sets off the mock orange. That one must be just a slightly different variety of it. That one always blooms earlier. That's basically what they look like. This whole corner will be covered with those little daisies soon. And, uh, we got some silver mound. I grew some bacapa from seed for the first time. And uh, so we're doing those as little accents, accent, in the accent plants. And uh, oh, that drip irrigation line came out from under the mulch. Canna lilies that came up on their own. Normally, I just we have so many of them that I just leave some of them in to rot, and these didn't rot. And these are that's one of the drip irrigation sprinklers. I have a couple of them back there to just broadcast all around. That's a uh, a dogwood that I got from the National Arbor Day. It's a brand new hybrid that they're working with a college and I have to send in a uh, survey every year about the height and, and growing and all that kind of good stuff and uh, more daisies more Arizona sun and, uh, so all these came up on their own at one point I need to water them and uh, clear from the back perennial garden. 
This is our lavender that's it's going crazy. Taking over the sidewalk. Some columbine. I'll have marigolds in between all of these at some point. And then our trio of lilacs and the butterfly bush. And this is the weeping pea tree. Interesting little guy. Need to add something there. Wait, perennial geraniums. I'm really doing well this year. This is the first year we've had a lot of blooms on it. Lamb's ears blooming. <laughs> 